he rode into the mission at the end of evening's prayer. He was tall and lean with kindly eyes and a shock of blue-black hair. He greeted the Padre as he stepped down from his roan and said, I've come to join the mission here in old San Antonio. The smiling Padre shook his hand and said, You're welcome, son, to join our humble household and help God's work get done. The stranger smiled and thanked him. He no longer felt alone. He would work and help these gentle folk that he'd found in San Antonio. Memories crowded back to him of the days of hit and run when he rode the way of loneliness, his only friend, a gun. That drunken night in Abilene when he gunned a stranger down, but that stranger was a simple padre just passing through the town. That fatal shot would change his ways, he knew this as he rode away. Each lonely mile of that dusty trail, he could hear the dying man say, Our God is all merciful, if for your wrongs you wish to atone. Just go to him, son, and take my place at the mission of San Antonio. Well, from that day on, the stranger found a comfort in each day as he worked alongside his newfound friends, and from them he learned to pray. The happy months passed quickly till one evening at sundown. Three mean and dusty strangers came slowly into town. The Padre, he stood there silent as his flock all gathered round, and that is all except the stranger. He was nowhere to be found. Grinning, the three men stood there. They were led by killer Jake Malone. And yes, they'd come to steal what treasure they could find in San Antonio. Head bowed the white-haired padre, stood there by the mission door, till a soft voice from behind the gang said, turn around and draw. With hands poised on their holsters, the three men spun around, but before they could even clear leather, the stranger shot him down. With his eyes looking up to heaven, the stranger was heard to implore, now, I know, I vow to you, my friend, that, well, that I would never kill no more, but I am in your debt now for the great love you have shown. That's why I defended you, my lord, at this mission here in San Antonio.